in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall you welcome to another spirit filled message on christocentric message if you're new to this channel i would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well i would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's going to bless you your graces are going to be imparted onto you and then god is going to visit your home thank you for watching stay blessed there are times that I have taken certain steps of faith. I cannot begin to tell you the sacrifices that I've laid down at the altar that has made God to vow certain vows in my life. It was in Port Harcourt in one of the occasions I went for a convention. I was outside just like Koinonia and the man of God came and preached. I sat down, didn't have much, there was nothing. And he challenged people just like this and I believed him I went back home that night God is my witness I gathered my whole bag and everything my rechargeable I zipped everything I prayed in tongues laying my hands on it for three hours non-stop by the next day I dragged that bag that was everything I had I stayed outside when people were dropping seeds and dropping whatever, others were giving landed properties, other people were giving whatever it is. I just stood back there and the Holy Spirit now said I should wait. When everybody had finished giving, he said I can walk to the altar. I dragged my bag and I knew this was Isaac. I went and I dragged that bag like a madman. People were looking at me. There is a way you really want to get out of certain circles. Please help those under the anointing. There, there is a way. Please hear me. I'm speaking to you by the Spirit. Some of you, your being here tonight is the prayer and fasting of Mama for 10 years. I did not go to school, but oh God, can you raise somebody from this family that in my lifetime let us taste of the blessing of the Lord before I go to my grave. God wants to give you an opportunity. I'm not calling you out. I'm not calling anybody out. But can I tell you this? I'm about to pray for you. The truth is that the prophetic truly, truly, when it has to do with ending circles, it will take a sacrifice. When God wanted many sons, he took his own son as a sacrifice and buried him in the ground. He that weepeth, bearing precious seeds, shall doubtless return rejoicing, bringing in the sheaves. Can I tell you this? I'm not supposed to say it, but I will tell you, while I was preparing, the moment the Lord put it in my heart to teach on this prophetic dimension, God gave me an instruction myself on what to sow because I have to believe in this message too. If I don't believe it, I'm a hypocrite. I don't leave off what people do and bring. I leave off my own obedience. When God told me what to sow, I had to say, wow. And I did it immediately before coming. And even at that, I made sure that I packaged my own seed to come and that one is between me and God. This one now is apostle preaching to everybody, including me. So don't think it's something that we're just talking. I believe in what I'm doing. Can I tell you this? For some of you, you have been praying and saying, Lord, how long? I am tired of this circle. For others, you need to go and contend for transformation. Others, you need to work on your value others you need to work on productivity others you need to work on all the spiritual laws but in addition to that God is giving us an opportunity tonight to end circles when I drop that seed and I return back I remember the Holy Ghost spoke to me outside and said from this day you have entered wealth I didn't understand what that meant listen carefully God is my witness. By the next day, 6.10 in the morning, someone calls me shaking under the anointing. Who is this? Are you so, 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 and so? I said, yes. He said, send me your account number. I just thought immediately, these are all these scammers who just want. He said, no, 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 no. I woke up this morning with an instruction that I should do a transfer to your account. I said, what is this? 
I had a release in my spirit. I took the risk. I was surprised to see what the person sent. I said, what in the world is this? God now connected me to somebody and the rest is history. God began to lift and to show himself faithful. Somebody who loved me so much, you will think that I, I don't know. If I cough, that man will buy me a pharmacy, not a drug. I started watching these things happen. Only a fool leaves what works. I held on to that truth and I said, this must work. I remember one time in this ministry when we started, the Lord gave an instruction to, do, to empty the entire account. I stand by the God of heaven and I tell you the truth. That's an economic risk. There are times when under divine instruction, both bread and seed can go. You can cast your bread upon the waters. And after many days, he says, you will find it. In one week, seven days, what God did for this ministry, this dear vision he has so honored, till Jesus comes, we will not recover from it. I'm not teaching you cunningly devised fables. Many of you are already practitioners of these truths. Some of you are practitioners of it, but by manipulation. Some of you are doing it, but it, it, there was no light and revelation. Can I tell you this? I'm about to pray for you. Our time is up. You are going to agree with God right now. As a family, as a business, as an individual. Lord, I believe you and I believe your servant. What seed? It is, I'm not, there's no amount we are not mentioning anything. I'm not calling anybody out. Everyone should participate, your children, whoever. If it's a seed that you want to give here, ushers, I don't know how, they, how you do it. Maybe the account details will be given. If it's something you want to copy the account details and so, but brothers and sisters, I want to pray for you. The prophetic to bring people out of seasons of, of, of shame and reproach. It is with sacrifice. A sacrifice is not an offering. No. If a sacrifice does not touch you, it will not touch God. I want you to stand. Oh, my lifting has come. Oh, my lifting has come. Oh, my rising has come. Oh, my rise. The Lord gave me an instruction many years ago to carry a seed which was a sacrifice and take to Canaan land and go and drop it before God's servant. It was a huge sacrifice. I got up like a madman, got the next available flight, went there, did everything I did. I came out with joy knowing that my life would change. And the Holy Spirit asked me to come out of the vehicle. He said, I should lay my hands on the ground there in Canaan land. And he says, from today you have entered the overflow anointing. I can show you different points in my life. A day came in my life when the Lord spoke to me and said, I will begin to raise people who will be personal financiers to your life, not ministry. I will begin to raise kings and nobles from across the globe whose assignment is to make sure you are comfortable serving the purposes of God. I believed him. A sacrifice is powerful. A sacrifice can change an individual's life. Listen to me. I'm going to give you room to pray in one minute. You know, some of you are in debt right now into the millions and into the billions, corporate debt, personal debt, some of you have lost money in investments. There is no way you can get it back. Some of you, there are all kinds of problems. You have court cases right now. 
this kind goeth not but by sacrifice I'm going to give you two minutes our time is gone to cry before the God of heaven and to tell him Lord I have come to the end of this season of begging and borrowing and crying please take it serious please in the name of Jesus who is the son of the living God no distraction everywhere overflows please pray some of you are crying don't be ashamed of your tears God is giving you an opportunity to change your life pray let it be from the depth of your heart your life is about to change Oh, my lifting has come. Oh, my lifting has come. Oh, my season has come. Oh, 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 my season. I like you to declare, Lord, what my father could not do, what my mother could not do, this embargo of poverty and hardship upon my life, upon my ministry, upon my family, it's time to bring it to an end. It's time to bring it to an end. It's time to bring it to an end. Man of God, pray. You may be anointed, but you need to engage the principle that brings supply for your life and for ministry. Otherwise, you will suffer as if God did not call you. Businessman, listen to me. There are times your boat and your fish may not be able to catch. You will need the master's voice. But before the master's voice, you will need to give your boat as an act of faith. Don't fight what God puts in your heart. For some of you, this may be the first time in your Christian experience you will be making a real sacrifice prompted by a man of God. For others, that is the principle that kept lifting you to where you are. In the name of Jesus. Now, please listen to me. Please hear me. Ushers, I'd like you to just, I don't know how you do it, but position yourselves around. Just help them, please. My God, I sense such a strong anointing here. I'm about to break certain things now. If there is a seed here and you have it, your sacrifice, whatever, a check, your writing, we can have the account numbers pr projected. Please make sure no scammer or nobody defrauds you. We are people of integrity. Whatever seed, I want to pray for you. When God spoke with joy, I gave mine and I still made sure. I said, no, I cannot come and be praying for God's people and then not hold a sacrifice to myself. I believe in this thing that I teach with all my heart. This is how he has brought us thus far. There is no magic to it. I want to pray for you there is a grace that will come upon you today please hear me many of you you will marvel and wonder at what God begins to do there is an anointing that will come upon businesses upon individuals I'm telling you this by the God who called me that at the instance of this sacrifice and those who are following from any nation the US Europe here in Nigeria there are pastors who are watching. God is telling you to do this for your ministry. There are business people who are watching. God has been speaking to you for a long time. Now is the time. I'm not asking anybody to come out. If you're doing a transfer, that is the account there. Alas, kodi la kaushiata. Predene shele baruzia zeneka tuske alabada. If you have your seed, lift it if it's a transfer do it if you're making a commitment please don't be emotional and don't make emotional decisions no but i can tell you by god this is an instruction that god gave me otherwise i would not do this since koinonia started in abuja 
this is the first time that a call is being made by the spirit of god you will never be the same you've touched his grace your life is changed you will never be the same you've touched his grace please keep standing i'm going to pray i'm going to bow my knees to the god of my covenant listen to me if you have never believed a man of god in your life please i want you to believe don't waste your time please no movement around i want you to believe i want to pray for you the vision that brought me to ministry was a vision of a generation crying and said there's no food and there's no water and this i said who is the cause and they said you are the one i wanted to run and help them but i was afraid because there were people who were chasing me and a gray gray bearded man that i know now to be the holy spirit held my hand and he said let us go brothers and sisters i know what it means to be in insufficiency don't think this is just a preacher's talk at whatever level god has helped you there is more believe me when i tell you there is more it will look like arrogance to begin to tell you the faithfulness of god i just leave that as as let jesus be glorified but i want to pray for you i want you to believe and shout a resounding amen whether you are standing or falling i want you to believe it with all your heart father don't kneel you can stand i will do the kneeling I kneel and I bow before you by this apostolic and prophetic grace. Embrekete kotoske de lekata, skata baranta skata bereketos. Embrekete kete bakata kata, skoto barus skata de lekata batakata. Every force sitting on anyone's financial destiny, right now in the name of Jesus, by the power that raised Christ from the dead. Let that force be dislodged now. Be dislodged now. Be dislodged now. Master, we have toiled all night. Let me speak to someone here. Let let the seasons of toiling walking like an elephant eating like an ant let it come to end in your life now let it come to end in your life now hear me everyone here who is in debt whether personal debt or business debt I prophesy by the God of heaven between now and the next three months by the rod of the apostolic and the prophetic come out of that death now come out of that death now every business here that has refused to grow has refused to rise Hear ye the word of the Lord. Makata bakatos kate barakatos. Ebre kate katos kate lemas kamata. Between now and the end of 2021, be ten times better than you are. Hear me. 
there are many of us here it's not like you are lacking food to eat but you keep recycling the same financial level recycling you can't break out of it some of you have been on building projects for close to 10 years to finish it and move your family is not there by the power of the prophetic i push you to the next level of your destiny i push you to the next level of your finances hear me i tell you fire is falling there are families here that love the lord with all their hearts but nobody has risen financially in that family for whatever reason if you belong to that family right now i'm speaking to you because the power of god is coming upon you i decree and declare anyone here who is part of any family where the circle is just poverty lack and hardship i declare may that cause be broken now may that cause be broken now every ministry here that is struggling financially following online you are a man of god your church your ministry is struggling financially up today and down tomorrow in the name of jesus christ come out of that shame and reproach now i want to pray for you the lord is ministering to me that there are people it's not like you are poor but all your resources are hanging everywhere you keep watching resources that are supposed to have come but it does not come wherever it is in the name of jesus i decree and declare i command those resources to come to you now come to you now come to you now hear me there are some of you you were part of the lifting of many people but they forgot you that is the reason why you are where you are it's not that you are lazy you've been part of many people's rising but now they've left you where you are in the name of jesus i pray the destiny helper assigned to wipe your tears hold your hands and lift you wherever they are this week i command them to appear before your destiny appear before your destiny all those trusting god for jobs trusting god to start businesses trusting god for any value adding structure in the name of jesus i declare by the power that raised christ from the dead beginning from this week let there be testimonies And anyone sitting on your glory your financial glory i overturn i overturn i overturn i overturn i overturn i overturn until you sit on your rightful place hear me there are many of you as you go to sleep tonight god will open up to you visions and he will tell you what to do believe me as you go to bed god will show you what to do yeah. hear me there are some of you here because of the urgency of the situation in your life a fish does not carry coin but when there is need to pay tax god can make even a fish to bring coin i pray for you from the most unexpected means may the resources to take away shame from your life may it appear in the name of jesus now hear me i speak over every sacrifice many of you are making profound sacrifices 
only God knows what you are doing individuals businesses ministries couple children young old organizations but I pray for you by the power that raised Christ from the dead the same way fire came upon the sacrifice of Elijah in the name of Jesus may fire rest on your sacrifice hear me for some of you what you sowed is for the next level of your promotion and I really mean what I'm saying for some of you what you sowed is for the next level of your political destiny some of you what you sowed is for the next level of your destiny whatever has died in your hand hear the word of the lord let it come back to life now hear me if you have never experienced an individual calling you to say i want to help you i release that mantle on you now i release that mantle on you now I release that mantle on you now. I release that mantle on you now. Inside, outside, online. Receive that grace right now. Please hear me. Hear me. I am not praying for you. For someone to just come and help you once. I am praying for someone who will build a system around your life. hallelujah please hear me if there is anyone who has victimized you financially either based on tribal sentiments based on religion based on political affiliation or whatever it is right now i lose those chains of you go forward 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 I want you to watch the marvelous testimonies of strange financial miracles you are going to be hearing in the name of Jesus Christ can I be honest with you for some of you you will be sitting in your home someone will bring the key to a house and say take I speak this by the unction of heaven for some of you will be sitting and someone will bring a car and say God instructed me to give you hear me for some of you someone will come and meet you and say god said i should raise your children till university <laughs> now hear this the final prayer there is an anointing that comes upon a man that can attract opportunities that can attract people that can attract resources i taught you last week if you want to pick nails from the ground here yeah, you don't pick them one by one you pass a magnet around them and it will pick everything some of you that's what you are about to become right now <laughs> hear me some of you your helpers are already in koinonia they are in this place right now <laughs> now therefore as I have received from the fathers of faith this is a relay this grace was passed it is not something we invented as I have really have, as I have received from the fathers and by the privilege of the apostolic and the prophetic this grace that mysteriously attracts resources attracts men attracts opportunity in the name of Jesus Christ the son of the living God koinonia take that grace now let that grace come on your head now let that grace come on your business now take that grace now take that mantle now be blessed be blessed be blessed and hear me any power that fights your prosperity from today in the name of jesus that power goes down before your face yeah. 
and any man who says over his dead body for this prophetic word to come to pass may the ground open and swallow them may the ground open and swallow them every yoke every enchantment every activity of witchcraft negative patterns i break it now In the name of Jesus Christ go and return with testimonies in the name of Jesus give Jesus praise give Jesus praise it's a new season hallelujah now please be patient I know our time is up you have your offering here or you have your your sacrifice please let me have one um, usher so that I can drop this if you are to drop let's minimize movement you can drop it with the ushers if it's an, a transfer you are making i want to simply make the altar call and we're done so we'll do this very quickly hallelujah i assure you that your life will never be the same there are people here even though we're teaching on a financial series remember we said the first level of prosperity please minimize movement let's honor the altar call the first level of prosperity is your spiritual prosperity whilst you heard me teach the lord began to speak to you that you have not made your relationship right with jesus or you are saying apostle truly i love jesus but my obsession for money and all of these things have distracted me and i'm not serious spiritually but i want to make it right right now whether you are in this auditorium or in the overflow do not leave this place without giving jesus a chance to your life i'm going to count one to five i want you to run and come and stand here everyone up the balcony around don't wait for anyone to come to be the first you be the first come and stand before jesus this is an opportunity celebrate them they are coming i will count one to five and afterwards we are going to pray one quickly koinonia celebrate them please ushers clear the way for them if they are coming for the altar call come to jesus god bless you come 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 to jesus i'm coming back to the heart of worship when it's all about you it's all about you jesus i'm sorry lord for the thing i've made it when it's all about you it's all about you are you coming run to jesus three it's all about you it's all about you it's all about you jesus thank you for coming every one of you you came to church to encounter jesus you're coming please run please run i'm about to lead them to pray run quickly so that you catch up god bless you god bless you god bless you now all of you please lift your right hand high above your head jesus is the one you are speaking to say after me lord jesus one more time say lord jesus tonight i have heard your word i believe that you are the son of god i believe that you died for me i believe that you rose again for my justification tonight i obtain forgiveness of my sin i obtain the gift of eternal life from you i decree and i declare that jesus is my savior my lord and my king i declare that the power of sin satan hell and the grave is broken over my life from tonight i am a child of god i go forward ever and backward never in jesus name keep your hands lifted father thank you for these precious ones you have brought them to yourself i pray that the grace to keep them let that grace be released upon you i declare your sins forgiven i declare that a new life is yours in christ jesus the grace to walk in victory is yours too in Jesus' name. 
I commend you to the ministry of the word and I commend you to the ministry of the spirit. May you be established and grounded in righteousness. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. I want you to please move to my right, which is your left. There's a gentleman waving the placard. Please follow them very quickly. Let's celebrate them as they go. The counselors will meet with you for a few minutes and then you will be back. Please help mama. Someone help our mother. Praise the name of the Lord. Just I would want you to do something for us. If you are new here, kindly hit on that subscribe button for us. And then like this video as well. Share to your family and friends to bless them. Because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body, to their soul, and to their spirit. We would need you to do one thing for us too. Tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from. And then if you've got any testimony for us, kindly share with us. Thank you for watching.